So guys, the story, the movie has a universal story about pursuing your dream, but what makes Teen Spirit different? You're right, it has, a, it's, it's got a sort of Cinderella aspect to it, um, for sure. There's like a kind of fairy tale feeling to it. Um, but it's also told in a way that is completely unique and different to sort of, I think, anything that you've seen before. Um, the movie really plays with chronology mm -hmm. in an exciting way and, and uh, how you learn about the characters you're following and how you move through time with these characters. Uh, I'm a very impatient person. I don't like getting bored when I go to the movies. Mm -hmm. So I, it, it's, it's really kind of like all the most fun parts <laughs> of a story um, in 90 minutes, basically. Yes. And Jamie, apart from getting to work with your best mate, mm -hmm. what was it about Teen Spirit that made you want to jump on board as uh, executive producer? I think um, I, I, I really just to support him more than anything, and, and just kind of be there for him. He, he sent me kind of four scripts that he'd written that were all complete that I had nothing to do with, um, and I read it on a uh, read them all on a plane. And and this one just spoke to me. This one just kind of seemed to rise to the top. I mean, I. I I do love films about people overcoming and escaping their circumstances. I, you know, that was very similar to my first film that I made. Uh, Billy Elliot has kind of very similar themes, um, and it just, it just, it spoke to me. I, I love the unlikely mentor character of Vlad. I just thought he was just a brilliant, um, unique character for this girl to kind of engage with. Um, and I knew that the sensibilities of the pop music and, and, and the drawing back of the curtain on this industry and this world was something that Max was, you know, intensely intrigued by. Um, so it just felt like the right kind of fit. But mostly just wanted to support him, really. There's one scene in the movie where Violet's dancing around in her bedroom to mm. a No Doubt song. So what music would we catch you guys dancing to in your bedroom? I mean, you definitely catch us dancing in our bedrooms daily, I think, right? <laughs> for, me, for sure. You, for sure. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, lots of stuff. We both love dancing. We both love pop music. Um, we really bonded when we first met over JT. We loved oh. that just, we loved the, that, like, the first Justin Timberlake albums and uh, yeah. My Love, is, my I, love I think, is one of the great, great pop great songs pop of all time. Pop. Is it true that you're a fan of K-pop and in particular yeah. BTS? BTS, Blackpink, I love K-pop. It's so big, yeah. you know? It's sort of, honestly, it's sort of scratching at the same thing I hope this movie is scratching at, which is just like the power of music and image together mm -hmm. and what that can be. Mm -hmm. um, also, those guys, just the, the dance, we didn't get to play with dance that much in this film, but there's something magical about watching great dancing. Yeah. Like not good dancing, but great mm -hmm. dancing is, is super exciting. Oh, I'm a huge K-pop fan, but I also heard that BTS and your love for BTS affected some of your work on this movie. Did it? Well, yeah, I mean, definitely <laughs> I get distracted all the time by my pop, poor Jamie, by my pop culture <laughs> obsessions. It's just like there's, every week I sort of tend to kind of fall into the trap of, of something and you know, uh, I, I definitely discovered K-pop uh, <laughs> when we were still finishing this film and probably needed to be more focused than I was. Uh, before we wrap up, I've got to ask you about working with the gorgeous Elle Fanning. What was mm. that like? Phenomenal. I mean, she's, you know, she's been working for so long. You know what I mean, she, she's been in so many projects and she's, I mean, how well she, we went, she, we were doing an interview the day and they kind of started listing films that she'd done. She couldn't even remember that she was in the movies because she was so young when she did them, mm. which was astonishing. But the, the stuff that she's had to do in this movie, she came to us already with an, an immaculate singing voice. She trained and worked so hard in it, and by the end, w was f she t taken it to a completely new level. Um, her, everything that we threw at her, she was completely unfazed by. Uh, and I, I genuinely think that if you put kind of anything on her plate uh, in terms of a challenge, she would be able to surmount yeah, it. Yeah, I was planning on cutting all the Polish out of the movie, and she was like, no, I'm going to do the Polish. And mm. she did the Polish. I mean, it's really amazing. Yeah, it was so impressive. Mm. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to me, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. that. was a fun one. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!